G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So it's been, what, eight months since the last video. I thought it was finally time to put something up. I've been avoiding uh, YouTube for a very specific reason um, that was quite personal. Uh, I didn't want to get myself in trouble. I can't go into any details as to what the hell I'm talking about. It is designed to be cryptic uh, to avoid said trouble, but uh, things have been dragging on so long that I thought, screw it, I'm just going to start throwing stuff up and being a little bit careful about what I say and what I talk about. So let's cover the last eight months, uh, where I am right now and where I'm going next, what this channel is going to be doing next, uh, just after this intro. So before we get too stuck into things, uh, if this is your first time joining me on the channel, thank you very much. Uh, this channel was and is still designed to provide um, you know, useful information that cuts through a lot of the bullshit in the fitness and health industry, uh, primarily focusing around weight loss. Um, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for hanging on. Like I said, it's been eight months since my last video uh, and 108, 109 odd people have hit that subscribe button and stuck with it all the way. Um, if you do get any value out of this video, if you're interested to see what happens next, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications uh, or hit me up on my social media channels on both Instagram and Facebook. So without further ado, let's talk about what I've been doing for the last eight months. Um, we're gonna go deep here. It is uh, more to do with my personal life than anything else. Uh, and I guess the obvious question there is how the hell is that relevant to a fitness and weight loss channel? So let's start by answering that question. The reality is if you want to lose weight, if you want to change your body shape, if you want to change your lifestyle, and, and, and that's the key word, lifestyle. If you want to change your lifestyle, it requires not just motivation, uh, not just that initial spark to push you to change. Uh, it requires long-term motivation. Um, it requires you to make consistent changes uh, to see results. And motivation comes from two places. It doesn't come from the kitchen. It doesn't come from the gym. It comes from your head and it comes from the heart. Uh, now, motivation, you know, is, it's, it's very easy to, to uh, have motivation wax and wane over time, um, particularly as things going on in your personal life, in your professional life, in your love life. As those things change over time, it can have, if you're not careful, it can have a detrimental effect or it can have a, a, a positive effect on, on both head and heart. Uh, and whenever those two things aren't consistent, that's when you start to run into trouble. So um, I'm going to quickly talk about my personal life over the last eight months uh, insofar as it relates to motivation because it's been a hell of a year. It's only, only been eight months. And I've got to say, whilst last year was a big year because there was a very significant event in my, my long-term personal life, I think this year has just been a roller coaster. I've gone from, I've had some of the highest highs in my life. I've had some of the lowest lows in my life. And it's certainly had an impact on, on my fitness and, and uh, weight loss journey. Um, not so much my motivation, that long-term motivation is still there, but it certainly had an impact on, on the activity and the actions. Uh, and that's been a choice. That's been a choice I've been making in here, um, you know, not to focus so much on it. I haven't let it completely go, um, but I have made that choice. So last eight months, let's see. Uh, I've visited two countries. Um, one I've been to before and I haven't liked, and I've got to say this time I didn't like again. There's just something about the country that, um, you know, culturally it's so similar to Australia where I am, but um, the differences, while small on paper, add up to Quite a different feeling, I've got to say. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I'm glad I've seen uh, the country a few times now, but yeah, not the biggest fan. Um, I uh, it, that that was the first country. Uh, the second, I've got to say, I I and both both journey, both trips were f for work. No, I'm stuttering now. Both trips were for work. Um, the second country, I've got to say, scared the shit out of me. Um, the idea. Uh, and for the first week, really, while I was there, I was scared shitless for most of it. I know it sounds really lame, but it was a country and a culture and a language that was extremely foreign to me. Uh, I found it both fascinating and mortifying at the same time for the first week. 
Um, and then I've got to say, I, I did start to relax. And unfortunately, I was only there for two weeks. So by the time I kind of got over myself uh, and my own stupidity, it was pretty much time to pack up and go home, which is a real shame. But I've got to say, by the end of the trip, I fell in love with the country. Um, I would love to go back at some point. Um, yeah, so they're my, my two international trips. I started learning a language. Uh, I didn't grow up multilingual, um, but that's something else that I've been doing with my with my time. Um, unfortunately, I've chosen a language that no one speaks. A lot of people understand, but no one speaks, so it's kind of pointless, but you know, you gotta do something with your time. Um, I've been dragged through hell. I, um, in, in my personal life, I have battled addiction. Um, and that's an ongoing battle, which we will talk about uh, sometime in the future on the channel. Uh, I have been blessed by finding the most spectacular love. Uh, and I've been reminded that sometimes candles that burn um, the brightest burn out the soonest. Uh, I have quit the gym, which frankly I wasn't using. I'd been a member for a while, but uh, I wasn't really going to the gym all that often. Uh, I joined martial arts or rejoin martial arts. I, I did Kung Fu when I was a kid uh, and went back um, and rejoined, I don't know, several months ago uh, and went to several lessons, which we'll talk about in a future update. Uh, I do have to say that um, amongst all of this stuff, I haven't really been focusing on nutrition and weight loss. I have now been consistently using my Muscle Chef for nine or 10 months and I still use them. I still love the food. Um, we will talk about my muscle chef over, you know, that 10 month period uh, in a future video. Um, but I'm still using them. My weight has stabilized. So I got all the way down to 88 kilos. Uh, it has naturally stabilized at 92 kilos. So, you know, from 111, 112 kilos to 92 is 20 kilos weight loss ish. Uh, I'm still extremely happy with that. And it has stabilized to a point where I don't really have to try. It's just the lifestyle and the nutrition that I take in every day without really thinking about it. And with all the beer and all the rest of it, um, that's kind of where I've, I've stabilized. So I can't complain about that. You know, a lot of people talk about weight loss, um, you know, dropping a hell of a lot of fat and then um, putting it straight back on. So anyway, uh, I've just gotten back from the US. I'm still a little jet lagged. I'm pretty much over it now, but uh, I got back on the weekend, uh, last weekend. Uh, and I'm thankful to say that I've, I only put on a kilo. So um, anyone who's been following the channel for a while knows that last year when I went to the US for the same conference, I actually put on five kilos. So I've got to say I'm pretty happy with that. So anyway, that's eight months. That That's eight months of, of utter roller coaster. Um, I don't know that it's finished. I don't know if it's gonna stop going up and down or if it's gonna stabilize. I've, there's a lot of unknowns at the moment, but shit happens. So let's talk about now uh, and why do a video now. So I'm about to launch uh, into a new program. I'm still designing it. Um, really the focus is going to shift from pure weight loss to um, starting to put on some muscle mass. The reason I'm doing that um, is very specific. If you, you know, a lot of people, and, and I've read a lot of research that says that if you've shed a lot of weight um, and you've really focused exclusively on, on shedding fat, your metabolism has slowed down and it's very easy to put that weight back on. So, so really I'm at a point now, 20 kilos uh, loss stabilized. Um, I really would ideally like to get down to 82 kilos, although that's kind of becoming less and less relevant to me. Um, now's the time for me to start putting on muscle mass to start to in, you know, increase that metabolism, uh, in, which then burns energy faster, which means it's harder to put on, on fat again. Uh, it leads to healthier, um, lifestyles overall. So I'm putting together a program at the moment. That's why I'm putting together the program uh, because my weight has stabilized. It's now time to push through to the next kind of goal. Uh, I am designing it as a three day split. Um, the reason I'm doing that, so it's a, it's a weight loss program, sorry, a, a, a muscle building program that I'm going to do weekly. Uh, and it consists of three daily, um, three days of muscle building uh, based on a push on a Monday, a pull on a Tuesday, and legs on a, sorry, a push on a Monday, a pull on a Wednesday, and legs day on Friday. It's a pretty common split. We'll talk about why specifically that split in a future program. And again, I will deal, I will detail in a future video the exact program because I'm still in the process of, of tailoring it. One of the things I have set myself as a challenge is to use absolutely minimal equipment. Uh, I don't really want to go out and buy equipment for it. I'm not rejoining a gym. So really I'm going to be limiting myself to calisthenic based movements. So things like push-ups, 
um, uh, some basic uh, barbell, uh, sorry, dumbbell work because I have dumbbells at home. Um, and you know, I've got a bench at home as well. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be tailoring a three day split workout program uh, with minimal equipment. Um, we'll talk about martial arts. Again, um, that's something that I started doing. I've got to say, I struggled through it uh, to start with primarily because you know, I'm not a kid anymore and sitting in the same squatted pose for an hour, I, I have to say I really struggled through. Uh, I'm also tailoring my nutrition plan or retailoring my nutrition plan around putting on muscle mass. So that does require a shift in, in macros uh, and a hell of a lot more protein. So again, I will talk about that once I finish tailoring the program. That's really it, that's my update. That's uh, eight months of silence, that's pretty much why. Um, you know, that, that low level of motivation in the background is still there driving me forward. Uh, it is still important to me and this channel is extremely important to me. Um, but, but really it's, it's, um, it's just about taking that next step. So uh, videos coming up will be uh, a detail of my program um, that I'm putting together. Uh, I will be uh, providing regular updates on that, on how I'm going with that program as time goes on. Uh, I will review the concept of a three-day workout split. Um, again, it's pretty common, but I wanna talk about specifically why. Uh, I'm going to put an, a video up specifically around that Kung Fu, uh, what I'm doing with it, why, uh, and, and why I quit a gym to join martial arts. Uh, we're going to take a deep dive in a video on um, the nutritional requirements for muscle mass building. And I'm not talking about Mr. Universe competitions anytime soon, but uh, you do need to tailor your nutrition around muscle mass building if you wanna bulk up. Um, and I'm going to be doing a shed load of product reviews. I know the Apple Watch 5 is coming out soon. I'm pretty excited about it. I've skipped a couple of generations on that. Um, be interested to see what that's like. I'll probably pick it up shortly after it comes out. Um, but I've noticed that review videos tend to get the, the most hits on this channel. So we'll be doing plenty of those. Anyway, that's it from me. Again, uh, hopefully short and sweet. I don't know how long that's how long this video is gonna be, but uh, uh, that's why I've disappeared for eight months. I'm back. I'm gonna be putting up videos probably once every two or three weeks as time permits. Uh, life you know, is still continuing, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but if you've got any use out of this or any of my other videos on my channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment. I do reply to all the YouTube comments. Um, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Details are up on the screen. And hopefully you'll join me for this next kind of phase in my journey. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.